When you look like they're threatening their females that they sort of take a bit of exception, but it's just uh, letting you know that that's his girl and you're not going to get anywhere near her. And that's Anuki, a four-year-old female from the local population. It's mating season, so uh, we might be expecting a uh, pup next year. The east coast of the South Island of New Zealand, the Otago Peninsula, with it, it brings a whole lot of productivity and wildlife. Yellow-eyed penguins, royal albatross, New Zealand fur seals, and most recently, the return of the New Zealand sea lions. New Zealand sea lions are an endemic sea lion that were once widespread all around New Zealand. 800 or 900 years ago, and the New Zealand mainland species was hunted to extinction. And the only surviving subspecies was down in the southern Antarctic. They came really, really close to extinction. The survival of one individual can make a real difference to a species. Mum arrived here in the late 80s, early 90s as a young female sea lion. It may have just been one of those random events that happen in, in life. Before uh, Mum arrived, there would have been no breeding on the New Zealand mainland for at least 200 years, and, and I would say up to 300 years. Mum is responsible for, for bringing sea lions back to the mainland. This is a species which used to be here. We drove them offshore. They've decided to come back, and that's what's so exciting. So we now have an opportunity to redress the damage that we did. We're looking forward to another good season. We had 11 pups last season. This season we're hoping for another, maybe a dozen. Whee! This is uh, Nuki, a young four-year-old female. But this male's had her captive up in the dunes here for, for some time. This is pretty dangerous because um, the male's holding her here in the surf zone. A number of females will get killed each year for being held underwater for too long while the male's trying to mate with them. That's why I'm a little bit worried here. I'll just stay and keep an eye on it. Pretty exhausted by now. It's good to see her sitting up like that, just to get out of the water. And this is part of the breeding process, dangerous and fraught as it looks, part of the whole chain of life. Let's walk along and see if there's any tracks going up into the dunes. They've got a good sense of smell and they're coming up along the coast and trying to sniff out those female sea lions. If a male does find them, they can get held captive by the male for a period of time and might not be able to get back to their pup. Obviously it's a worry for the female sea lions and so it's a worry for us. Look at this. Somebody, uh, somebody's come through here. Uh -huh. It's mum and pup. I'll sneak in there and see if I can get an ID on her. Hello, girl. Hello. It's all right, girl. Six F one triple O seven is her iwa. The pup's at least a week old. Yeah, it's just loving the contact with its mother. <laughs> yeah. 
it's, a, it's an important bonding time for mum and pup. They'll be together for the next, at least the next year and possibly two, two years. Mum needs to be able to recognise the pup from its uh, calls and from its smell. She can't afford to be held hostage. She's got to get back to her pup to feed it. Two or three days of being held hostage by a male could really compromise the health of the pup. We try and keep track of where the females are and where they're going to have their pups. The main reason is if they have their pups in an area where there are threats, we can manage the threats the pups are born into. We checked this pup was found the other day in open farmland and quite exposed. It doesn't have the protection from the weather that vegetation will provide. If females are having to go up to, into farmland to hide away from the male sea lions, getting into areas that don't have ideal habitat for the pup, we could easily provide simple shelters and that sort of thing that might assist the survival of pups. Oh, there's the pup. <coughs> so we're lucky we've caught it with Caesar away. G'day. How are you? <coughs> Sorry about the rude intrusion. I know that your mum's probably told you not to talk to strangers. I'm pretty sure this is going to work. Just in to that area there, if you come this way, Martin. Well, let's leave her to <laughs> explore her uh, new home. Look what I found, Mum. <laughs> this is much better. <laughs> I've got to say that sea lions are now my favourite animal in the world. They're just a really interesting animal to get to know and to think that we might have even lost that opportunity. Sea lions are constantly going to be there to, to challenge us and be asking the questions, are you big enough to make space for me?